Well, I'm, oh, hold on. I'm back working on uh, the Hitachi excavator. Has a leak and I couldn't find it and I kept using it and it's just gotten worse and worse and now it's at a point where I have to fix it. Um, I just can't keep draining oil out onto the ground. Um, so it's leaking obviously around here and when you use it you can just see the stuff pouring out it's all hydraulic fluid because i added hydraulic fluid in the reservoir to keeps going down so um i know that it's not the swing motor and it's not the reduction gear seal that's not leaking it's holding oil and there's not that much oil in the reduction gear so um, it wouldn't be just continually pouring out and there's oil on the dipstick thank goodness because that was a pain in the ass to fix um, but what this is after looking around look at the, the manuals it's it's called the center joint and so I went on YouTube after I kind of diagnosed what it could possibly be and I um, so I what I I put in center joint excavator and the very first um, video was from a guy named Woodsy Wood and he did a excellent video on center joint and rotary manifold rebuild and it's for Hitachi one EX100 um, so it's uh, very close this is a Hitachi EX100-3 so I couldn't believe it. it's basically the same um, same manifold or, that I'm going to be working on here. He didn't uh, uh, do a very good explanation of why he thought it was the center joint. He did say it was leaking. And um, there's no video of him taking it out or putting it back in. But it's basically just uh, hydraulic hoses on the top and on the bottom. Um, and then uh, some bolts that hold it in place but um, he, he did say that he was weeping leaking on the undercarriage or something to that effect but um, I first saw leaks down here on the tracks because every morning I do a walk around I'm looking for leaks and uh, check all the fluids and grease it um, and I saw some leaks on the track uh, probably five or six days ago. And they weren't much, but they've gotten worse. And I, w I thought it was a hose, and I went underneath. All the hoses are dry. I'm like, I don't know where it's leaking. So after looking and looking, I finally figured out that it's the center joint. And uh, using the manuals I have and the video that Woodsy Wood did, um, I think I can tackle it. Um, it's just going to be so much cheaper for me to try to do this than to have somebody come in. So it's a freaking mess in there, but I got it all cleaned out. And um, now I'm going to go underneath and maybe I can shoot a. I'll turn the flashlight on maybe you can see see what's going on under here I, I don't know what kind of how this is going to shoot but there's a drain plug which I'm <laughs> I have to loosen up because you can still see it's dripping here and who knows what's going to come out of there and then basically take off all of these hoses which is not a big deal and um, uh, I'll undo that drain plug as well and then it's basically just undo the bolts and this should just drop out into my hands not onto my face hopefully and then I can uh, take it down to the shop and uh, disassemble it and put in and put in all of the new uh, gaskets and o-rings and seals and so the hardest part is taking this all apart and I'm only about halfway through so 
got lots of paper towels because it's greasy see you later i'll uh give you a video when i get it out and um when i start uh, taking it apart all right see you later well can you tell how greasy and grimy i am it was a hellacious job to uh, get that thing out of the excavator. The um, I don't know the center joint. That's what the hill. That's what they call it. And uh, of course, it. I don't have plugs for the hoses, so they dripped and dripped, and they dripped all over me. And I managed to get it out, and then of course. It weighs more than you think it does and it fell into the dirt but I have to clean the whole thing anyway so but uh, anyway there it is I'm going to try and uh, clean it up and then um, take it apart like I uh, saw on the video on YouTube so I got all the gaskets over there and uh, there we have it I'll show you, uh, I'll film maybe when I get it apart. That way you won't see the screaming and cursing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't film it. I should have. <laughs> but I just put the uh, bearing uh, into the, uh, into this housing here. <clears throat> I just put uh, this bearing into the housing. I put the this housing on the wood stove got it hot actually it's pretty warm and put the bearing I made this uh, block of wood uh, so the bearing slipped right over this and I could uh, punch it right in down and I put this whole thing in the uh, freezer for it was only in there for an hour or so hour and a half and tap 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 went right in place no big deal so i'll let that cool off and tomorrow i'll uh, put in the seals and the o-rings and i'll put it all back together and hopefully slide it back into the uh, excavator with no big deal since it's all nice and clean now all right i'll uh, i'll film some more tomorrow well i hope you can see me it's kind of dark here in the shop i got it all back together and uh you know it's a struggle but i guess that's how you learn but i'll pass on something maybe it'll help out somebody else when i had the uh case I had the, the spool valve here out and I was putting in the new seals. These are the old seals. Uh, they're really hard to reach down in here. Your fingers can't get down there and there are six of those things. And I struggled and struggled. I wanted to, I did the top, one of the top ones just to see how it would go and and I said, I'm never going to be able to get those middle ones. And I struggled. And then um, I said, you know what? I am going to turn a piece that fits inside of here. And um, that way, when the seal goes down inside, it has something to sit against when you fold it in half. Um, to actually slip into the groove and that worked amazing I just put them in one right after another I just happened to uh, cut filler blocks to make sure to make sure that the top of the this lined up with the with the groove so when you slid the seals in they landed nicely on here anyways um, I wish I had done that from the beginning and it would have saved a lot of uh, distress <laughs> But it's all back together. I've blown it out with compressed air again after cleaning it and cleaning it. And um, it, when I took it apart, it basically 
came right apart in my hands. The center part, I pulled right out. And when I put it back together, um, I put a block of wood on the top and I started tapping and it went through the first two seals and then nothing. I couldn't get it to move. I'm like, oh, great. And so I actually set it here under this beam and I used a bottle jack, that bottle jack, and I was able to press uh, straight down with uh, a lot of control and they snapped through, it snapped through all of the seals, except the last one was really tough, um, but it did go through and this turns, it does turn, but it turns really hard. So that's just telling me, hopefully, that all the seals are brand new. Um, they all were all lubricated with hydraulic oil before I put it together. Um, it's, it's just much tighter than it was. So hopefully that's going to cure the oil leak. Um, you know, these were the original seals. The machine has over 8,000 miles on 8,000 hours on it. So there you have it. I am going to try to put it back together. Um, I get some big sheet of cardboard or something to lay on plywood or something to keep this clean. And let's see if I, it, it supposedly weighs 65 pounds or something like that, according to the manual. So I'm Hoping I can push it up through. There's a rubber gasket on the machine. So this, has, this thing has to go up through the rubber gasket. And then I'll bolt it in place. Anyways, um, I'm not going to film that because it's probably going to be, yeah, it's going to be an experience. And I'll film it when it's all together. And after I run it, <clears throat> make sure it's not leaking and I don't have to take it out again. All right, there you go, the center joint, all rebuilt, ready to go back in the machine. Well, I've uh, I got the center joint in, got it all installed. There's another one of those just awful jobs. Um, took me two days. Yesterday I was able to get it out, and today I put all the seals back in and got it back in the machine and uh, it's um, I can't tell whether it's leaking or not because there's so much oil in there I tightened up all the fittings there's oil standing on I've got to absorb somehow and get rid of and I gotta clean this up better Really, the only way I'm going to tell whether it's actually working is to watch the hydraulic level in the tank and make sure that's just uh, staying at the level it's, um, it's, it's supposed to be at. So, um, next time I come, I'm going to spend some time cleaning this and then use it and see what happens. Um, I followed all the procedures and I tightened up all the fittings, but I'm not a mechanic. I was not able to te pressure test it. The manual said pressure test it, but you need some special machine to do that. Um, I don't have that. So um, the best I could do is put it back in the machine and run it. And thank, I hope, cross my fingers that I don't have to take it back out because it was a pain in the ass. Um, Anyways, there you have it. Uh, hopefully the Hitachi excavator is back up and running. All right. Hope you've had a better day and less oily.